All right, welcome to Warrior 613. I'm Jason. I hope all is well. Uh, looking forward to uh, a quick little video, but, but one that, that's a little different than what I usually talk about. But uh, first of all, have never felt better. Uh, well, that's not true. I have felt better, but over the past five or six years, it's the best I've ever felt. Um, but uh, the Ocrevus, uh part two of my first infusion is this Wednesday. So appreciate any prayers for that. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's actually a nice relaxing time. Uh, but today uh, we'll do a, a follow up with the, the uh, Ocrevus about a, a week after that. Uh, just to kind of give you an update, I've had some, some more questions. Um, people that are uh, in talks with their doctor about switching over um, and just with my experiences. Um, so look forward to talking with you on that. The, but the thing that, that I wanted to talk to you today is uh, I think uh, anybody, you know, we like to, everybody wants to be labeled uh, as part of a group that's you know, not treated right, uh, or, you know, stuff isn't fair, um, and, uh, just a few things happened this week, um, you know, I always want to advocate for people, um, that, that don't know how to stand up for it, or don't know how to ask for it, but I never want to be, uh, one that's, that's constantly, um, just whining about, um, whining about things or, or constantly just because something is different for them it shouldn't automatically spark outrage and so uh i took my i took my my daughter um and, and i i love uh she is just the she's so protective of her dad and uh so my daughter was at camp this week um uh, and uh it was the last day it's family day so uh, I said, well, I'm, I, you know, I'll, I'll take off and I'll go spend family day with her. Shelly needed to get some stuff done at the office. Um, and uh, so we, we value those times together. And so I was there and I knew um, quite a few people um, at the church that it was being, it was a wind-shaped camp um, hosted by Chick-fil-A. And um, I knew quite a few people there. And as I was talking to them, um, you could tell they would see things that, that they thought maybe didn't line up with, oh man, well Jason's going to have to do this now, we hadn't thought about that, or maybe we hadn't ever seen anybody have to use this. You know, you may not have uh, many people come through in a wheelchair. And, uh, sometimes that, that may be why, um, you know, but it's, it's one of those things that, um, you know, every time everybody was so locked in to okay well, we need this or that and it was it almost seemed to be that everybody's so nervous about somebody just pitching a fit um about certain things and um you know it's a it's a fine line we want stuff to be accessible uh but not everything has to change um and and as i say that you know there are things that yeah if if you have if you don't have a ramp or a curb cut out going into a restaurant, there's a lot of people that can't get to it. That That's going to be something that needs to be fixed. Uh, but certain things, you can't change the terrain of something. Uh, I work at a very, I live in the foothills, uh, and uh, so things are hilly. You can't necessarily change the terrain of something. Um, that's something that, that's just part of life. And uh, so I appreciate people being so, just so, in trying to be in touch with, with issues or struggles or uh, this was going to be tough, but it was, you could just tell that there's such a, people are gun shy from just so much outrage over everything. And sometimes, here's the, uh, here's the kicker, being in a wheelchair, I may not be able to do everything um, that's there, and that's fine. And you know, as my my daughter and I were talking after, there was a there was a game uh, for for guests uh, and parents and, and and the campers to play for this one, and it was it was on the field. And uh, you know, it, my daughter was a little upset. She was like, "Daddy, you're not gonna be able to play." Um, one, I couldn't get over the you know, I mean, I 
could have, but it was just not a good idea with 500 people uh, going in and out for me to start mixing up a, a wheelchair into it. And, and uh, you know, I appreciate where my, my daughter's heart was coming from. Had nothing to do, because we talked about it on the way back. Um, it wasn't, I mean, yes, she wanted me to play with her, but she was like, Daddy, you weren't able to do that. I wanted you to be able to do that. Um, she said they really should just turn that whole thing into concrete so that you could have you, you could have done that as well and Yes, while well, I appreciate it and I appreciate it. it she's uh, an Evident heart for others, uh, which is a good thing that's come out of uh, me being in a wheelchair, but um, You know I explained to her. I said now how dangerous would that have been? for that many four or five hundred people running around the number of people that would have bloody faces and knees and broken bones falling, and uh, it would have been it would have been terrible. Um, and I explained to her, I said, you know, I was very lucky to be able to play baseball for for quite a while, uh, past when most people have to give it up in high school. And and um, you know, I told her, I said, there's people that wanted to play past high school, and it just didn't work out. Uh, you know, either from a talent level or just the situation didn't didn't allow it to happen and um, we can't change the rules so everybody gets to do exactly what they want to do um, and I you know it's a, it's a good lesson for her to learn it's a good lesson for me to remember um, that just because something is not 100% the same that's fine you know I, I don't uh, you know I, it's, it's like I I have uh, when I call places to go ahead of time I'll find out I've learned to find out okay what's it look like from me from an accessible standpoint I don't want us to you know drive 3,000 miles and go somewhere and then find out oh yeah well they can't really get in there um, that's fine and uh, but you know calling to ask places they get very timid about uh, from an accessible standpoint um, and I think it has to go back to, like everything, it's a heart issue. Um, you know, if I go in somewhere and, and they're just, well, we can't do that. You can't get in here. I'm not really worried about it. That turns it into a whole different thing than um, somebody that, hey, you know, we'd love to, we weren't aware of this. Or somebody that says, we're trying everything we can. Small, uh, family-owned place. It, it changes what they're able to do and and uh, you know as far as it is if we treated others the way we wanted to be treated it goes back to that it would cure a lot of this garbage that's going on so you know we all want to be outraged and we always want to be upset about something and um, something wasn't fair or something um, we should have been able to have this or that um, sometimes it just doesn't happen and everybody shouldn't have to change and we shouldn't have to change our entire society um, for people's feelings but on the flip side of that you know what if we treated others the way we wanted to be treated uh, we still don't have to agree on everything but it would be a whole lot better so a little more uh, a little different in, in the video today but it was just one that it was a it was a good time people that I know um, and I know where they come from um, just wanting things to be right um, and wanting things to, to be easier um, which you know I'm appreciative of, the, of stuff that makes it tougher you know I always want to be prepared for the toughest obstacle that I'll have to get through during the day so when I do come into something that's that's easy and accessible and uh, it's just it's just okay a little break today uh, so love you guys uh, just spouting some of my my thoughts about this today um, and uh, whether you uh, agree or disagree um, feel free to let me know uh, I, you know I'd love to have a conversation with you and uh, you know I don't have to always be right uh, but I can tell you from a, a standpoint if we did uh, treat each other how we'd want to a lot of these a lot of this outrage would, would disappear. So talk to you guys soon. Uh, love you all. And uh, 
Look forward to seeing you with my follow-up to the Ocrevus infusion. Bye.